It's here. I'm so excited. It only took like a year for me to get here, but it's here. It's called Predictable Probabilities, and it's a book about how AI can help you do life better because we all want to do life better. I think we're all over the drama, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this might be something that educates you on exactly how this amazing machine science is going to help you do just that. So find it on Amazon. And if you don't find it on Amazon, you can tag me on X and I'll help you get it. Um, so the book is out, like I had said, so yep. everybody go buy it. Um, has anybody that has read the book, what, like, what have they shared with you after reading the book? Uh, the, I'll just share from the beginning. I, I, I love my, my co-writer because she was like, I had no idea that HR had to do all of these things. And no, my book isn't all about HR, but it's very hard to do anything in life without having a touch point for how humans get applied to work, education, etc. So my experience as an HR professional really helped to bring a lot of education to what that role of HR is in our economy and in our society. So I love that. I love that little shock factor. And then as we were going through the editorial process, I, the, the um, publishing team, uh, it was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that, like, I didn't even know the tools that I was using were kind of setting me up for failure. And I thought, oh, oh wow. okay, that's great. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. Like, okay, you, you took like a section of it. And it gave you this aha, like, oh, I'm, the pro I'm creating my own problems mm -hmm. because of the tools that I'm using. And uh, even my, my uh, son-in-law, he's like, I mean, you just kind of simplified. I thought AI was something completely different, and you, you kind of simplified it in such a basic way for me. So I've appreciated all of the, all of the little, and they're all different. Mm -hmm. They're all, you know, everybody's taking something different from the book. And so that's, that's always exciting for me to hear. That is exciting. It's kind of like your own personal interpretation. Yeah, well, and it's always different for everybody because everybody has different perspectives already. So you're either yes. helping people learn more about it or you're changing people's perspective on it. Yeah. So that is exciting to hear how people receive your book. Um, so now that the book is out, what is next for you? Do you have any more books or Selling big projects? It. Hello, bye, <laughs> buy the book. That's it. Uh, <laughs> that's the best yeah, compare. that's it. I mean, I'm really just out there uh, making sure that people are aware of the book, uh, making sure that people know that it's a, a resource for them to understand mm -hmm. how AI is going. It's going to play a role in everybody's life. You are either going to be passive and let things happen to you, or you're going to learn how to engage with this kind of technology and tools and and those two extremes whether they read my book or not um I, I mean what's next for me is really nothing I'm just kind of kind of watch like I've got my popcorn now like the next decade who, who knows how people are going to choose to navigate through this but now I can say I warned you I kind of told you you I had options it. yes that is true um so where can people go and buy the book Right now, your, your very first place to go is on Amazon. That's probably the fastest and easiest. We will be in different retail locations in a few months. And then um, there are different bookstores, depending on the schools, et cetera, that you're at, that it'll be found as well. Oh, that's exciting. But so you just go to the, the onekimkelly.com website, and uh, that's where we will update people on where you can get access to it. But Amazon? Is where it's at right now. Yeah, and that's the easiest place to go buy it. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Um, so where can people connect with you? I know you said your uh, website, but where else can they find you? X. I mean, you can find me on LinkedIn, but if you read my book, you might know that's not the best place to get me. Mm -hmm. uh, but X, uh, you, uh, I'd love people following me on X because I feel like X is just conversation. I mean, people will have their own opinion of what kind of conversation, but it's just conversation. Like I'm not, I, I'm there to try to engage in thought and, and uh, connect with how other people are seeing the world. So yeah, uh, find me on X and connect. Mm -hmm. Not LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before we sign off and thank you again for joining me today to talk about your book, is there any final insights you want to tell everybody? Hmm. I guess maybe a little disclaimer. You know, my book is not a how to build AI. It's not an, a 
technical book on how to engineer machine learning, automation, and AI. I mean, yes, we could talk about that if you want to, but that's not at all what the book is about. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of people think that my book is about entrepreneurism or HR or um, helping develop young adults into their goal job. And it's really none of those things by itself, but it does basically explain how all of those life and work experiences have been made better because I'm an early adopter of technology and then how I've designed people work to help solve some of those problems that um, obviously I talk about in the book. So it's not just about, so that's what it's not about. And then what it is about is um, really just emphasizing how technology can change the quality of your life and also give people a little bit more context into why I built people work. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing everything yep. today, and thank you for writing the book to help inform people. Um, and I wish you the best, and I wish <laughs> this you. book the best. Everybody go buy it. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. You did thank great. You. Thank you. <laughs>